Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I am here with you to do our January coloring books and coloring supplies haul video. <laughs> so, um, I say um too much. So, I'm um, going to start with something which is extra special because not only did I get a really good deal on it, but you, yes, you guys paid for this, for this channel. And I think that you are all just so wonderful for it. We are going to have a lot of fun giving these a try here on this channel. So, what did we all buy? We bought the complete set. I've removed the cover. It has a great big, great big cover that goes on it. But, this is the complete set of Chameleon Color Changing, or er, Changing Color pens. And I am just absolutely thrilled with having this set. I've wanted to have it for a very long time, but it, it, it was always a bit cost prohibitive to me. Um, I do have about 20 chameleon pens, so I know I like them. In fact, I love them. I love the Japanese nib brush, which takes time getting used to. I wrecked a few before I realized exactly how you're supposed to use it. And the ink is tremendous. I always use my chameleon flesh colors. I bought the, uh, I bought the chameleon flesh tone set and I always use those for my skin on my girls because it doesn't streak at all. So, uh, yeah, so I'll tell you a little story of how we got these. There are 52 all together. And this has been on my wish list since probably I started putting stuff on a wish list. And the only cost effective way for me to get any more chameleons was to buy the whole set. Because they do sell a 22 set and I had most of those colors. They sell a 32 set and I had a good majority of those ones as well. So then it went up to the whole 52 set and it was most it was most convenient for me to get that because this has more than I already had. And to buy the to buy the pens individually is extremely expensive here in Canada. And so are those packs. Like I bought the flesh tones pack and the only reason I bought it was because I had a half off coupon at Michael's. I would never be able to afford the full price of those of those things. Well, I could, but I wouldn't like to. So anyways, one day I get an email from Amazon. Or did I get an email from them or did I just happen to notice it? I can't remember which way it happened, but I saw that the price of these had gone down $90. So $90 off of the price of these. And I had just recently, um, I, about a week, I had received my first check from, uh, from, oh, what are they called? Well, from Google, anyways. The, ch the, the money that I make from you click watching those ads. So if just one of you watches one ad in my videos, I get a little bit of cents put into a credit for me and it just goes on and it accumulates. And once, once your amount reaches a certain point and up, 
they'll issue you a check. Well, actually, mine goes into my bank account because of uh, my living in uh, Canada. So these were made off of um, dot com hits. So I guess mostly Americans would be clicking on the dot com, though I know Canadians do an awful lot as well. <laughs> so you guys are the ones that helped buy this because I put that money, which which was a, a surprise to me on how much it was. Not that it was a lot, but, you know, I don't want to go into talking about figures and something and making this about about money. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it is about money, but, you know, it, you know, dollars and cents. I don't want to, it seems like dirtying it that way. <laughs> but um, I put that towards it. So with the $90 off and the extraordinarily uh, pleasant amount of money I made from ad watching I had to add forty dollars of my own my personal money to this so yeah we were going for it and I was so excited I have not even really opened the set because like I said I have 20 chameleons now as to the changing tops I didn't buy any of those because the whole set of those is, is quite extraordinary in price too. But I do have the florals set of um, color changers. So that's a bunch of pinks and a blue, I believe. And I also have, uh, it's either two grays and a brown or two browns and a gray. So they're not very exciting, but I do have the florals and the sets of, you get five or six uh, color tops in a pack. They're quite reasonable on Amazon and uh, I'll be checking Michael's the next time I go there to see if they have them and if they do, I'll, that's where, what I'll be using my 50% 50, 50 off coupons for. So um, let's just take a quick look at these. They, they have numbers and names. So they're a long pen like this, and they have a number and a name, and they're color co coordinated. So this is VO4, and it's called Deep Violet. And then what we do is this whole part right here is a um, is a chamber that has blending fluid in it, and so. You can't get it out of there, but you can touch your marker end to it, and it will take the color away. So, it well, it takes the color away, and then it lightens it, and lightens it, and lightens it, and lightens it. So you can start coloring a gradient of one color from from light to back to its back to its original shade. The color tones allow you to combine different colors together. So we take it, well, we, we don't take it off there. <laughs> we take it off here, take off this whole thing. And this is our bullet tip, and it is a, it is a fine a bullet tip. It's a, a very nice, nice sized bullet tip. So then we put this whole chamber back on, and we just take the, the cap off of the end of this one and that is where we have our Japanese nib and I haven't found these kind of nibs on anything before this is the only place I've seen these I do have brushes from Japan which claim to have Japanese nibs but they are different than these so we've got a really big pen that we're working with when we're just doing this and I really enjoy the feel of that. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I really enjoy the feel of working with that. So, I am hoping to do some... Well, I mean, of course I have mandalas in my mind, but I'd also like to try out, you know, larger, larger pictures that... Um, have kind of a, a large-ish area, but not too large, because if you go across a whole sheet of paper, 
you'll have returned to your normal color, you know, quite soon. Uh, well, then you redo it and go across. But I really like to try something that has me medium-sized lines, like a dress on a, on a girl or something like that. And try those with the gradients and with the few color tones that I have. So I've never really done the color tone the the color toning the color changing I've done some gradients but I just have never really bothered to do the color changing so that's all going to be new to me and um we'll we'll learn together on how these things work so uh, I thought that was a great investment to this channel and it was partially paid for by you guys and I appreciate it so much so here you can actually see what you're watching an ad does for someone's channel just watch one ad and you can skip any others that come up and uh, it really really helps your um, your creators who are making videos for you including me <laughs> So there we go. Oh, besides the chameleons, it comes with a little, um, little extras box here, which um, I'm not going to open. But it has some pliers that are specially made to help you remove the nibs so that you can replace the nib. And in here, there is actually a size of nib that's not on the pen. We get 14 of the Japanese nibs in here. We get three of the bullet nibs that are in here. Of the 20 that I have, I think only one of my bullet nibs is worn. And then we get three of what looks like a quite a fine liner. So that is quite interesting. You can buy little packages of those. And we also get a, oh, a blending pen. CB, Colorless Blender. So it has, yes, it has a Japanese nib on one end and a, oh, and a bullet tip on this end. Oh. So enough, <laughs> enough going on about that, but I just want to give uh, applause, applause to all of you who helped this channel get its first, uh, viewer paid for item. So, now I'm just going to kind of go through things in no particular order. We've got books and a couple of, a couple of, um, well, maybe I can just reach into this box here. So this is an Amazon order from .ca and oh boy these don't even feel like new because I've been using them <laughs> but um, for Christmas I got the uh, Black Widow set of Black Widows the spider one and I got the light skin tones so I'm working on completing the set because I absolutely adore these pencils so these are the Cobras which I got last month and um, in February I'm going to be getting the uh, Scorpions and the Dark Tones then I'll be then I'll be all set for February oh sorry for April if you haven't heard breaking news here a target date of April has been set by the people who make Black Widows, and I think they're called Midi. Yeah, here we are. Midi Health One Priority Limited. Don't know what the PTY stands for, so Mid. Let's call them Midi Health. They have uh, let people know, though I don't believe there's any official announcement on the website or anything. But the owner seems to be going around to. Um, uh, going around to boards and uh, streams and stuff and uh, letting people know. But with a target date set for April, 
they are going to be coming out with now not much is known but the the blurb that I read from Medi, Medi Health One said that they were coming out with a premium set of 48 colors. Their target date was April and they were uh, going to be 48 completely new colors that we don't already have in the 96 that have been made. Now, since he said it would be a premium set, I'm I believe it will have all the things that we've been asking for, or that we've been saying we don't like about these, and that's that these are not color tipped. So you can't tell what color it is unless you have swatched it, or oh my goodness, I'm not good at getting off these little tins. Well, maybe here. There we go. They're not color tipped, so the only way you can tell the color is by taking a look, taking a look at the tip, and you know that may or may not match the color. Well, same with when they're color tipped, but it is kind of annoying not to have color tipped ones. Now, this one seems to have been seems to be my most used color out of this pack. Yeah, that one's been used quite a bit. And that one's been used quite a bit. So, yeah. Then I heard somebody else say that um, they had hoped to have, have the 48 colors out by Christmas. But uh, technical issues and stuff made that, uh, made that not possible. So now they've got the April set date. And they are currently at the testing and the color naming set, uh, session. So that's pretty close to having a finished pencil. So once they've tested them, maybe they might have to work on adjusting a color or two because it's not what they, what they had, had wanted. And they may have to, uh, well, they will have to actually make the finished pencils with the names and I'm hoping <laughs> color tips so yes get your set of black widows up to date so that you can add the 48 special okay so next is a bunch of books that I got off of Amazon so this is an oldie, but one that I haven't had. Uh, looks like we need to be zoomed out just a smidgey. I have to be very careful with this shoulder because yesterday I got my cortisone shot and it's very, very sore for a couple of days, 48 hours, and I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to be using it. So, Mermaid's Grayscale, I decided I decided that I needed to get all the Jade Summer Grayscale books because they were not putting out any new ones and even if they would it's not fast enough for my liking so this was this was prior to the new fairies book coming out so I decided to buy the ones that were left that I didn't have so that included Mermaid's Grayscale so this has two copies of each picture and I'm not really going to do too much of showing in here because um, it's a very popular book that's been out for a while. Then oh, I got oh, 100 Best Grayscale Coloring Pages of Alina Lazareva. And I'm so excited to get this because I love her, but I can never decide which one of her books to get. And this is going to help me decide on full books. I know there's a part two out and I want to get that too. Maybe if I have part one and part two, I won't feel the need to buy any of her full books, but I doubt that. I don't know how many are from each. I'm sure she tells you. No, she doesn't tell you what book they're from. So there's a whole assortment of these. Now, these don't have the big bold lines like uh, Sunlight does, but they do have 
lines. So I'm not too terrified of trying these. It's going to be different for me, like this. Like there's no actual line around there. So that part's going to scare me. Because <laughs> I've never... I've done Nikki Burnett. I don't know who I've done. But I'm just used to the Jade Summer way of grayscale. So this, this is new for me. But yeah, I love this. <laughs> that is also an older and uh, popular book because part two is out now. Now, every time I purchase, uh, I do my big purchase from Amazon, I will check and see what the new uh, Color Questopia books are and pick those up. So at that time, there was two I didn't have. There are a whole bunch more that I need to get. And... And I'm only interested in their mosaic books. They seem to be testing the waters with other kinds of books, and they're not; those are not getting good reviews. They came out with a couple of books which were kind of like spiroglyphics, I think they're called. But they were using this size, and people thought that they were just way too tiny and small to be able to use. Now they've got a couple of one-color books out, one uses wavy lines, and I've heard that they're too small as well. And then the other one I don't understand. It's squares, but is a one color book. So I don't really understand those two. I'll wait and see if it gets any reviews. So stick, these are, these are awesome books. And I will tell you, if you stick to the mosaic books that uh, Color Questopia comes out with, you will not be disappointed. So this one is called, oh, there are a bunch of uh, pages, sample pages, to color from their other, their other mosaic books. It might be a good idea for them. Uh, and I'm saying that uh, some, some of this that I say about Color Questopia is directed at Color Questopia because they can't, I can't find them anything about them online. They're a new company. They're probably testing the waters, and I can understand that they want to make sure their business is going to fly before they set up a web page or a Facebook page. But, um, yeah, give us some information, Color Questopia, to contact you. I would suggest putting samples of your other types of books besides the mosaics in the back here so people can decide if they want them. My other suggestion to you would be to stick to the mosaics because they are beautiful. So this one is Beautiful Ocean. So of course it's full of pictures from the bottom of the ocean. And these are, looks like everyone has some kind of uh, animal in it. I had a lot of fish there, but um, there's a sea turtle. So yeah, I haven't worked in this one yet, but uh, I will be doing it shortly because I love under the water. I love water creatures. So the other one that I didn't have at the time was giraffe <coughs> excuse me mosaic color by number and oh that's still the sample pages okay so each picture in here obviously has a giraffe and there's quite a different quite a few different poses and it shows shows the adults with the babies and different um, facial uh, setups like this one. Very close up on the baby and then probably the mother. Yeah, so there's enough variety in here that doing one topic is going to be um, enjoyable. I should mention that the color palettes are on the back here, though they don't always necessarily give you the entire palette. Is what they say is that... Oh no, that was for, for the beginning ones. 
yeah, they're up here they're just telling you they don't treat this as a must have thing. Pick similar colors. Don't listen to the colors at all or change the colors or whatever. But here's your guide. Okay, then of course I can't not pick up I cannot pick up a Deborah Muller every time I order. So it's still winter, so if I would pick up Winter Woodland Wonderland. So continuing through continuing through February, I will still be coloring uh, winter pictures. There are some Christmas pictures in here, but there's lots that are just simply uh, winter themed and yeah that's really nice Deborah Muller's books are excellent she has every kind of content you could possibly imagine I I would dare someone to look at the 50 70 I don't know what number of books she's at now to look at her 50 to 70 titles and I dare you to find a topic that doesn't interest you. <laughs> she has everything from Christian books to strip tees, gothic strip tees, if you're at that. And then I finally, and I'm so happy to have this, is C.L. Aldridge's uh, Mandala's book. I have been wanting this for ages, and it just never seemed to make the, the list. But I am in a, in a mode right now where I am buying books that I already have. Uh, not that books I already have. Books that belong to series that I all already have. And books that I really, really want. Well, while I was looking at the Deborah Muller Winter Woodlands, this one was suggested to me. And this is a book that has two sets of pages. And it's Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine. And this is just the most adorable pictures that you can imagine. To me, like, this is very, very Scandinavian to me. And, um, the book that she, I, I believe she has two books out now, uh, since this one. The one after this one is called, um, Time for Huga. Or, yeah, Huga. That's how you pronounce it. Something like that. H-Y-G-G-E. And I want that one as well. There's a few pictures on the back. And I don't believe she has any sample pages from her other stuff. Oh, yes, she does. So, yeah, she's got uh, quite a few. Quite a few books behind her. I think her older ones are not quite of the same quality as her newer stuff. Looks like her style has changed a little bit since she began. And then the last one in this box is the other Grayscale book that I did not have. I have this in line art, but I want it in uh, Grayscale. And again, you get two sets of the pages and these are just vampires. So, um, my order in February is going to include... Oh, I didn't know they had thumbnails at the beginning of this. Well, that's good. I wish they, I wish they had continued to do that. This is rather an older book, too. 2018. And why do they start something like that and then not continue with it? Because I love thumbnails at the beginning. Because you can, well, <laughs> if you like doing very, very fine coloring, you could get out your fine liners and try to color these. But um, I think what I would do is just shade in one a certain color so that I knew which ones I'd done and which ones I hadn't. And I could make my decision from this page pick a few, then go look at them in real size. Okay, so there's that book. Now, I told you guys um, last time I filmed, and I think that was a uh, color and chat. About how upset I was about not having um, 
Romantic Country book three because of uh, it going out of print and that quite <laughs> devastating me. So I went ahead and I bought her brand new book. <laughs> I had to have it. So, um, what is the name that's going around for this? World Heritage and then something about travel, time to travel. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm going to go look up what this is really, what it's called in English, and then I'm going to be writing it in brackets underneath of the, this title, but it does begin with World Heritage. And this is um, very similar to the Romantic Country books. It's got a story that goes through, and it's got the girl, and it's got the goose, and I believe it's got the cat, too. So while those things aren't on every page, they are on some at the very beginning of the book. Here it tells you what each picture is about. And unfortunately, having the Japanese edition, I can't tell that. But here are our main characters. There's the, the girl. Uh, whether she's the same girl or not, I don't know. And the duck. I mean the goose, sorry. The goose and the girl. So I'm thrilled to have this one. I'm hugging the book. Oh, yes. Hug the book. Pet the book. <laughs> I'm not the only one who pets my books. Okay, and we've got an envelope. And this is... What is in here? Aha! So... As you guys know, my sister and I give each other a ooh, give each other a um, little gift package from our wish lists every other month. And um, this last month was uh, was her turn. That would have been uh, December. Was her turn. And then she stopped. She has to take time off, so she's told me that uh, she can't participate for some time. She's given me a, a time period of probably six months. And so in, in the, uh, the meantime, while she can't participate, I put the word out. And I have got me a new trading partner. And that is Tracy Colors. She is going to be my new partner, and she is sending me my first gift, uh, well, around now, because uh, we send at the end of the month that's ours. I don't need to go into details of the thing. You're not interested. But yes, the next package I get from this, uh, from this trading will not be from my sister, but will be from Tracy Colors. So what did my sister send me in my last package? Well, she sent me an absolutely fabulous package. She got me two of these fantastic books by Galena Haisaihi. Haisaihi, yeah. Japanese. So this is a Russian fairy tale manga girls coloring book. And it, there's, that's the cover one right there. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll be doing a flip of this one by itself. So we'll just take a quick look through it. But aren't these gorgeous? They are, well, I wouldn't call them manga girls. I would call them anime girls. Well, that's a funny looking one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there's some creatures here too. Very interesting. Yeah, I love this. It's beautiful. There's four books in this set. And, um, that the Russian. Oh, yeah, this shows the other three. The other three are Beauty is Magic, Woodland Beauty, and Dark Beauty. So she got me two. And next, in this month in February, I'm picking up the other two because I have to. I have to have this whole set. 
So there are 27 original hand-drawn illustrations in this book. And once again, that is Russian Fairy Tale Manga Girls, and the author is Galena Haisaihi. And the second book that my sister got me in the series was the Woodland Beauty Manga Girls. So these are all creatures found within the woods. As you can see, this girl on the cover is an elf. So here, I like to flip backwards. So some of these are just girls sitting in the forest, like that one right there. The girl sitting in the forest writing in her journal. And then we've got elves, fairies. That's a, see this, this is a ma ma manga girl. I don't know, you have to read manga or watch anime to know the difference between the two. I'm a manga reader. So yeah, those are great. I'm going to do a complete flip of that one for you. And then, this is an artist I found out about through someone else's channel. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't tell you who I, it's just one of those things when you're roaming around and uh, somebody shows a book that you've never seen before. This one is called Fantastic Beauties, adult coloring book, and the author or author is Demita Victoria. And um, these are all faces. But they're half done in grayscale. Well, this one's 100% done in grayscale. But usually the girl is grayscale and the background is not. As per this. And it's not heavy. It's not heavy grayscale either. The face is. And I guess you could say the hair is as well. But down, when they get down to the dress and stuff, it's it's light. You know, there's only a few spots of it. I really like the idea of this. I've never done it before. But uh, she has two other books out. Uh, her newest one, I believe, is called Beautiful Faces. And the first book was is called New knew something, I can't remember, but I definitely want to get her other three books before she comes out with a new one. So there's two versions of the pages in here. Um, does it say how many? No, it doesn't say how many. But it's a, uh, it's a decent sized book, so I'd say that's at least, that's in the 25 to 30 range. That's usually what you get with these Amazon printed books, whether they duplicate them or not. And then my sister always sends me some books and then some kind of coloring item. And these were on my, these were on my wish list because I wanted to give them a try. They are Sergeant Arts Metallic Markers Fine Point. Six rich and long lasting metallic mar markers. So let's just take a look at these. Um, here's a piece of paper so we can do a swatch. Now let's get, uh, let's not get gold or silver out. Let's get something different. Okay, so here's a pink one now. Do they have names? Sergeant Art, Metallic Martyrs, Markers, Non-Toxic, Made in Malaysia, no color names. Okay, so it's not a paint pen. It's a felt tip end. Ooh! Oh my goodness, these put the Crayola ones to shame. That is definitely metallic. Uh, there isn't a huge shine to it, but it looks metallic for sure. It's probably, are they fast dry? Yeah, they are. So,
Yeah, yeah. Now, now that it's dried, it's not. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a sparkle to it, unless you can see it in the, in the camera. There, I'm not seeing anything. But it looks metallic. It looks, and when it comes out, it most certainly is. So there's six in here. Oh, no, I'm definitely going to be using these for metals. So I've got uh, purple. I guess that's purple we picked out, not pink. So we've got purple, gold, green, blue, pink, and silver. The usual suspects. Oh, here we go. On the back, they've given them names. So we can... Uh, when I'm swatching those out in my swatch book, I can use the names. Okay, just need to take a sip here. Let's see. Okay, I'll move this guy over. So one day, the deal of the day on Amazon.ca was this. Ultimate Crayon Collection, 152 different colors. I'm going to open it for you because I don't need the packaging. So I am using more and more, I'm using my wax um, items to use with solvent in my backgrounds. And I have a collection of, of uh, Crayola crayons. They're just um, loose in a kind of like long vertical holder. And this is a nice little carousel to use. It comes with a sharpener. It's not just the little plastic sharpener stuck in the back of the carton anymore. <laughs> but it is a totally plastic, hard plastic, of course. That's a nice big box, too. So you can use this with any of your crayons. It's in there. And then it has the sleeves are set in here. So if you run out and you buy more crayons and stuff, you can, you can put them in the holder. So the holder's going to be good for life. And that is sturdy. So yeah, I say life. <laughs> this thing will take the banging of a three-year-old no problem so yeah I had to get that when it was when it was so cheap on the daily the deal of the day oh ooh, the shoulder hurts okay then the next thing is a belated birthday present And one of um, they get they got me some coloring books, and one of the books that they got me uh, I already had, so I went out and exchanged it. Not having a huge selection of coloring books where I went to exchange it, uh, they did have a book of Millie Murata's that I don't have. I'd been missing two of them, and this, this was one of them. And I've seen a lot of work done out of here. And this is, this is gorgeous. So yeah, I've seen a lot more, uh, a lot of people coloring out of her books, actually, recently, too. And uh, have gotten some ideas of how to work with those as well. So this is Beautiful Birds and Treetop Treasures. So now the only one of hers that I need is her very first one, Animal Kingdom. And it's a gorgeous book. Nice paper. And the next... The next one... The next one is... Pusheen coloring book, and this is the large one. So, this I have wanted for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, everybody adores Pusheen, don't they? I remember when the book came out, and uh, I was reviewing books back then. And I looked at it, and I thought, what the heck is this? 
And then I found myself laughing out loud throughout the whole thing. I, I'm i not currently a pet owner. Um, we do have a cat in the house, but she most definitely belongs to our son. But, yeah, because of her and uh, I, a lifelong time period of always having a cat, I, uh, I get the... I get to the cat humor. And the last thing to go along with the coloring books was the set of Windsor and Newton Pro Marker Metallics. Now I've already used these two and they are awesome. They're not like the ones that we just we just tried, the water-based ones. So Let's use, well, let's use the same color, metallic violet. Oh, wait, we've got two ends. And that's a really tiny fine liner. Oh, and this is a big bullet. Show them to you in a minute. So really wet and juicy as it goes on. Let's kind of straighten that up. So this is the big bullet that you get. And that is quite a bit bigger than what I'm used to. Each one has its color name on the side. Um, it says MTVT, and then it says Violet, and then it's in three, three um, languages, English, French, and I imagine that's Spanish. So it's Violet, Mauve, and Violetta. I'm saying it with an Italian accent. That I have a lot of Italian friends. Okay, and there we go. And again, when it's dry, it's not. It doesn't sparkle and shine. Actually, this one does now. That one does shine. Let's give it some time to dry too. But these are nice, nice markers. And I've already used them, so um, they really look nice on um, jewelry two sets of metallics. And then this is something special. Extra special, just like the first item was extra special. This one is my very, very first Clara Markova. So I wanted to choose between, I was choosing between Fairy Miracles and, oh, I can never remember the name of the other one. I'm going to say Tenderful Endearments. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I've called it so many different things in previous videos. So those were the two that I was choosing from. The two blue, the two blue covers. This is dark blue and the other one is light blue. So are you just going to take a drink? Be a pepper? Drink, Dr. Pepper? So I definitely don't need to give you a flip through of this because everybody has seen this book even if they don't have it and they're not interested in it they have still seen a zillion pictures from it so I liked the pictures from those two the best and so for my first one I wanted to well it's not that I liked the pictures best it's that I saw so many people coloring out of the tenderful one and this miracles one that that's what drew my heart to her I fell in love with those pictures and so I wanted one of those. So what I've decided to do is that I'm going to get one of these every month. There's four total so it's only three months. They are extremely expensive for Canadian to buy because the shipping is a lot more than it usually is to other places. Plus in Canadian dollars these books cost $36. $36 and change so you're looking at $37 which is an awful lot to put out for what is basically a coloring book 
no way. I mean, no matter what you what you look at it as, it is a coloring book. So it's a serious thing to um, to do. But I just had to. But my rule is, see, I was thinking, oh, I'll get one every every month for four months. Then 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 the payout for them is over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one, and then I have to make sure I've colored in it, and then the next month I can get the next one. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm filming. Sorry. Okay. I I what was it? That was my hubby knocking at the door. He could hear me talking, but he thought he was on the phone, and he's just dropped a parcel on my bed, so woohoo. All right, so I have, let's do the, this bag first. This is all supplies. Went to Walmart one day and their clearance, they had a couple of items on clearance. Got the pen and gear gel ink pens, 48. I have never ever seen any pen and gear items at Walmart before, but that is pro but me saying that doesn't really mean anything because I don't get out much. So there's four classics, eight neon, 12 metallic, 12 pastel, and 12 glitter. As most people, I prefer the glitters, but I have nothing against the others. So, so yeah, I had to pick that up. It was really cheap. I, I don't, I can't remember how much it was, like five bucks or something. And then the other thing that they had on clearance were the permanent markers. So I've heard people talk about these. These are the fine point. That's all they had. I don't know if they come in an ultra fine. People could let me know. Uh, so there are, how many are in here? Is this a 36 pack? Looks like it. 30. So, are there duplicates? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It really, really looks like the first two rows are duplicates. And then the back row. Oh, yeah. They, these, well, I mean, like, I'm a little disappointed, but it's fine because I like to have backups of my markers. But you're not getting 30 different colors. In fact, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. There must be twelve here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's a copy. That's a copy. That's a copy. 10. Yeah. Oh, 11. 12. So yeah, there's 12 markers in there, but there's 30 all together. Hmm. A little annoying, but... But yes, I if I like a marker or pencil or whatever, I like to collect um, duplicate copies so that I, I don't run out. But I can't see these being something I'm going to continuously buy because they're only available at Walmart and chances of it, of Walmart, of me going into Walmart and them having what I want are pretty slim. It is not a favorite place anymore. And then I had to pick up the current issue of Mystery Colors, which is Baby Animals. It seems like every other issue of their magazine is animals. And I have to tell you, the animals do come out looking the most realistic. So they are actually going to, um, they're actually publishing a hardcover book called Mystery Colors. And the description gives a few um, examples of what you're going to find in it. And they're the titles of these issues. So I think, 
I saw it before this actually when the Christmas one when the Christmas one was out that's when I first saw it come up in the listings on Amazon as uh, coming out I don't know sometime this year summer maybe I don't know spring and uh, so it's gonna have sea life pets landmarks and Christmas I believe those are the ones I have I have all of them except for this one I missed getting it it's sea life so if you have two copies that you can spare one <laughs> just joking so yeah you can order this magazine now too you couldn't before so uh, last time I looked you couldn't buy back copies which was uh, disappointing because I would have li liked to get that one uh, under underwater animals are my favorite but um, yeah if you've missed out on several of the books that came out last year in 2019 uh, you can check Amazon and it's called mystery colors I don't know who they say it's by the they're calling themselves Centennial Media so maybe that's what they're listed under yeah, I think I'm going to get a subscription to this now because since I don't get out too much, it ends up being a matter of rushing around and trying to find a copy but while it's still there because I find out via the internet that the new copy is out. <laughs> I usually get several, not several, but I usually get a couple, couple or three emails from people, uh, pictures from people uh, sending me, look, the new new one's out. <laughs> yeah, I think I was there with the first people who discovered that magazine. So yeah, that's what I picked up at Walmart. And now my very last order came from Amazon UK. And um, I splurged a little and got an extra. So I got this, which is uh, one I've always wanted. I am, I am collecting actively collecting these uh, Les Carré Dart Therapy books because I just love the size of them and if there's wallpaper in it it doesn't matter because it's only a short amount and I like coloring patterns I just don't like coloring an A4 size pattern which is the size of the big books that's just a little bit bigger than an eight and a half by 11 in length so this one was published january 2019 so it's mickey and friends and that's my favorite when it boils down to it i am not a fan of the new movies um i well not since they went cgi i like all the movies that were hand drawn uh, once it gets into the computer stuff, I'm not a fan. And it all, it all boils down to these guys. Now see, this is a double spread and these books open nicely too. Um, there's a double spread of wallpaper with mini in the middle and that's going to look really nice and I'll have a lot of fun coloring that. You know, here's another wallpaper page. And then other ones have kind of like a patterned background and then the figure on them. That happens a lot in the Disney ones of, of these books. And they look really nice if you color in the character and then do a wash on the back if you're not into actually doing the pattern. So yeah, there's that's the way to... The, the big pictures are there's there's some complete scenes too so yeah really really pleased with that oh each these books are divided up into chapters too so we've got mickey and his friends mickey and minnie their enemies and at mickeyville and then at the end of each of these books there's there's always what they call a paper kit and they will have some notebook paper, well not notebook, but they'll have some note paper. You can write notes on the back of it, lined, 
beautiful picture lined on the back. And then they'll either have bookmarks or um, gift tags. So this is what they look like when they're gift tags. There will be a patterned page and uh, some shapes to cut out to make tags. These are also good for um, junk journals and and uh, daily journals. And then it looks like they've included two, two bookmarks, yeah. So they tell you to um, cut them out this way and then you can fold it in half giving it some strength. And and uh, laminate it. <laughs> I have done pretty good with talking this video. I have not messed up very many words. So, the reason I was over at at Amazon Amazon UK was that I wanted to make a purchase to finish off a series that I that I have been collecting and the only place I could get the remaining books was from Europe so I ordered the last four Fabiana Atanasio fairy tale books that I didn't have and now I have the complete set which if I can see them on my shelf, one, oh, I don't know because I've got some in there. I think I have, I think there's five I have in English, and then I've got four in Italian. So the only way to buy these books now without getting a used copy somewhere, and the English used copies are over a hundred dollars, so they're quite collectible. But they are all available from the original publisher. And since she's Italian, her book was published in Italy. They have the posters in the back. They have gold foiled covers. They're really no different than, than the other ones. And I will have to check the paper quality, but... So this one is Hansel and Gretel. I don't, I don't speak or read Italian. I can kind of fake an accent because as I said, I know a lot of Italian people around here. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> okay, that's talking like <laughs> talking like an Italian man. <laughs> and Cinderella. I'm thrilled to have this one. And then the Jungle Book. And I really like the Jungle Book too because I've read, I've read the books, and I have to say, as a kid, the Jungle Book Disney movie was one of my favorites. I loved, oh, I loved the animals. I think those are my favorite characters from Disney are the animals. I'm certainly not a princess person. The only princess from the movies I liked was Snow White. And growing up. Oh, I guess at the end of my childhood there was Sleeping Beauty. No, seriously, I think the last Disney movie that they made while I was a kid was, uh, what's it called? The Black Cauldron. And then we have La Bella e la Bestia. Yeah, that was better. That was a woman Italian accent. La Bella e la Bestia. But one thing I found, and this is totally off topic, 
before we have a look at this, um, is that most foreign languages do not, like it seems like they talk fast and it's really hard for English speakers to, to read their words because they don't hold out their vowel sounds. Like anytime we speak, and why we speak so slowly is because all our vowels are held. You know, not that slow, but it shows you when you listen to someone speaking, you can see that the vowel is taking a lot more time to say than the consonants. But most foreign languages, at least European ones, and, and I know for Japan, Japanese, the vowel, the, the vowel sounds are poop, 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 they're fast. So the word is said fast. And there you've acquired a little bit of Nikki knowledge. <laughs> uh, who knows, I could be talking a lot of BS, but that is what I have found out. <laughs> from the wisdom of my 50 plus years. So this is gorgeous. I love Beauty and the Beast, the story. Not too crazy about the movie since they make it all happy, happy. Oh. There we go. Now I can say I have a complete collection of Fabiana Atanasio and she is one of my favorite illustrators of her books and she has a new one coming out. I don't know the exact date but it is in a few months. She is she is illustrating the next two Mythographia books and the, well, the first one coming out is called Enchanted Enchanted Castles? Yeah, so it's about castles or buildings or something like that, we can assume. Then her next one is called Paradise. And then, just the last time I was looking on Amazon, the last night, which was probably two nights ago, I saw that the next book has been listed, and it's back to Joseph Cattenbang. So, we have that to look forward to. I was worried that... Um, you know, Joseph Cattenbang was starting off the series and then they were gonna send it out to different illustrators. But if they do it this way, with Joseph Cattenbang coming back in after they've lent it out to a different author to do a couple of books, I'm sorry, illustrator, I'm, I've been involved in books for most of my life and I'm used to say, talking about the author, not the illustrator. So, um, yeah, so that would be good. Joseph Cattenbang, and then a couple of other illustrators, then back to Joseph, and then out to another. I mean, I'd really love to see um, Kirby Rosanis do the Mythographia se series, but he won't because he does his own stuff. And oh my God, have you seen the previews for his new book? It comes out February 2nd in, in the UK, and it doesn't come out until March in North America, so I am hazarding on whether to get the UK edition. I know one thing that is with the U UK book, the paper is either going to be the same or better, because in Europe they just simply use better paper than the mass market, the mass production in North America. So, that is my, I don't know, was that a rant? <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this haul. I um, hope you found some, some, some things to inspire you or to, uh, that you've learned about a new illustrator that you want to investigate or you've found something that you got to get one way or the other. Down below in the uh, description you'll find a link to um, Amazon.com since there's such a, an amount of books here I can only link to .com. Uh, 
you, uh, so blah, 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 blah. So I will link to the Amazon.com books or supplies that you can find there. If they're not available at Amazon, I'll link to where you can find them. Or I just won't if you can't find them online, like the pen and gear stuff. So I would appreciate it, and I thank you in advance if you use those links because I get approximately two to three cents for each uh, order you make through those links. And again, they help support this channel. I've already received a couple of payments through that program. When it get when it gets to be uh, once I get a kind of large-ish amount in there, I will uh, put it out to you and we'll, we'll guess, we will pick out together what we want to get for this channel. So, in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye!